in this video, we come back to the formula of the determinant of a matrix. What will this be equal to? What will be the formula if we have the first row as the reference? The first element A11 will be multiplied with something. Now this something is very important. For the sign here, we multiplied with minus 1 raised to the row number plus the column number. As A11 lies in the first row and the first column, we raise minus 1 to 1 plus 1. And to find out what this is multiplied with, we exclude the row and the column of A11 and write the determinant of what remains. Determinant of this will equal A22 times A33 minus A23 times A32. This will be the first part of the formula. Two more elements remain in the first row. A12 and A13. What will A12 be multiplied with? Minus 1 raised to 1 plus 2 multiplied by the determinants of these four elements. A21 times A33 minus A23 times A31. And what will A13 be multiplied with? Pause the video and write the correct product here. This is what we will have. Minus 1 raised to 1 plus 3 times this determinant. We knew this formula, we just saw it in a bit more detailed fashion. Now there are a couple of terminologies we need to be familiar with. For the element A11, this part here is called the minor. Yes, this is a minor of A11. And this entire part is called the cofactor of A11. Yes, this is the minor of A11 and this is the cofactor of A11. Similarly, this is the minor of A12 and this is the cofactor of A12. For A13, this is the minor and this is the cofactor. A good way to remember this is by knowing that minor means small, the smaller part is minor and the bigger part is the cofactor. Every element in the matrix has a minor and a cofactor. So let's zoom out and find the minor and cofactor of A32. The minor is the determinant of what's left after excluding the row and column of that element. For A32, we eliminate the third row and the second column. The determinant of these four elements will equal A11 times A23 minus A13 times A21. This is the minor of A32. For the cofactor, we just multiply this with minus 1 raised to 3 plus 2. This will be the cofactor of A32. Minus 1 raised to 3 plus 2 times this. So can we derive a relation between the cofactor and minor of an element in a matrix? Yes. What will be the cofactor of Aij where i is the row number and j is column number? Remember, this multiplied by the minor gives us the cofactor. So cofactor of Aij will equal minus 1 raised to i plus j times the minor of Aij. This is the relation between the minor and cofactor of an element. The minor is the smaller determinant part and multiplying it with this gives us the cofactor. We will look at an example in the next part of the lesson.